Hello class, welcome back. This is Mr. Paredes, and this is Module 2, Lesson 3, Taxes and Gratuities. All right, this is in our Into Math workbook, pages 71 through 78. For this video, I will be working on the Step It Out assignment, which is pages 71 through 73, task 1 through 4. Before we get to the task, let's look at some of the new key terms for this lesson. Gratuity is a percent that is given or paid in addition to the price of a service. It is also referred to as a tip. Sales tax is a percent that is added to the price of goods or services. All right, so let's go ahead and look at task one on page 71. Jeremy got a haircut and paid 15% as a tip. Part A. What percent of the cost did Jeremy pay the barber, including the tip? Well, I know he paid 15% for the tip. But what percent represents the amount Jeremy paid the barber before the tip? The original amount would be 100% of the cost. So when we combine those, Jeremy's paying 115% to the barber. Part B, what is the cost of the haircut? Well, the haircuts are $15, right? That's what it says right there on the side in the picture. Part C, calculate the total cost of the haircut, including the tip. And they want us to show our work. So... Whenever I would find a percent of 15, right? Normally we'd say, what's 15% of $15? And then we add that amount to the 15 to see how much they paid. But in this case, I know it's 115% is what he paid to the barber. But how can I write 115% as a decimal? Well, we would wanna go 115 divided by 100, right? Which would give us 1.15. Okay, and another way to think of that is in terms of cents. If I had change, if I had 115 cents, I would write it as 1.15 in dollars, right? So that's another way you can kind of um, convert, help convert those. So now we want to multiply this. And I'm going to get $17.25. Now part D, if you only wanted to know the tip amount, how would you change the process you used in part C to calculate the total cost? Well, just like I mentioned, we could multiply by 0 0.15 instead of by 1.15, right? That would give us how much he paid in as far as the tip and then add that to the $15. But this way up here is just an easier, quicker way to find out the exact cost that he paid with the tip. All right, so let's look at the second half of task one. Jeremy also bought a hair care product priced at $13. The sales tax rate in his city is 7%. So for part E, calculate the amount of tax. Show your work. So we want to find out how much he's paying in taxes. Well, I know it's 7% of $13. So we would do that by converting 7% to a decimal. So I want to go 7 divided by 100, which would give me 0 0.07 or 7 hundredths. And we're going to take that amount and multiply it to $13. This will give us 0 0.91, okay, or 91 cents. So that means the tax 
is 91 cents. Okay. For part F, what is the total cost of the hair care product plus tax? Well, I know it's $13. And we're going to add it to the tax, which was 91 cents. And this is going to give us $13.91. Now, part G, how else could you find the total cost, including the tax? Well, just like we did on A through D, we can multiply 13, the $13, by 1.07 instead of by 0 0.07, right? Because it's 107% is what we're actually paying with the tax. So let's look at page 72, task two. Kelsey and Jamal went to lunch on Saturday. Their lunch cost $17.60. They gave the waiter a 15% gratuity on the amount before tax, and they were charged a 5% tax rate on the amount before gratuity. What was the total cost of the lunch? So essentially, we're going to have to find 15% of $17.60 and 5% of $17.60. Part A, write an equation in the form Y equals KX to find the amount of the gratuity Y in dollars on an amount of X dollars. Then find the gratuity on Kelsey and Jamal's bill. So we're looking at the 15% gratuity. Now, I want to change that percent to a decimal. So I want to go 15 over 100, right? 15 out of 100, and that's 0 0.15 or 15 hundredths, right? They're the same thing. Another way you could think of it is like change, like I said, 15 cents. And we would write 15 cents as 0 0.15, right? So that's what our K is. That's our rate for this one. Now, I want to put that and multiply it to $17.60 because we're going to substitute that, right? That's what we're substituting for X because it represents that cost. Now, when I multiply both of these, I get 2.64, right? So that means the gratuity was $2.64. Part B, write an equation in the form Y equals KX to find the tax Y in dollars on an amount of X dollars. Then find the tax on Kelsey and Jamal's bill. Now this time, we're looking at the tax rate, right? Which was 5%. So I want 5% of $17.60. Again, I want to go from 5% to a decimal. And I'm going to divide it by 100, which is 0 0.05. And again, think of it as money. That's the same as how you would write 5 cents, right? In a dollar amount. Now we're going to take this and again, I'm going to substitute the $17.60 for X so we can multiply these. And I'm going to get 0 0.88, right? So that means the tax was 88 cents. Part C, find the total cost of the lunch. Well, now we just want to add up all our amounts, right? So I have $17.60 plus $2.60 plus 88 cents. And when I add these all together, I will get $21.12. So that is the total cost of the lunch. All right, so we're still on page 72. We're looking at task number three. Nolan buys office supplies for his home business. Nolan paid a total of $210, which included a sales tax rate of 
What was the cost of the supplies before tax was added? So part A, write an equation for the total cost of the supplies, $210, in terms of the original cost X of supplies before tax. Then simplify. So I know the amount was $210, right? That first X represents 100% of the cost. The second X is going to represent the 5% that we added for tax. Well, I need to convert that into a decimal. So 5% as a decimal would be 0 0.05. Now, when we add these two X's together, remember the X that's by itself, it's really a one, it's one X. So we're going to go 1 plus 0 0.5, or 0 0.05, and that's going to give us 1.05, all right? And the 210 stays the same. For part B, they want us to solve the equation to find X, the original cost of the supplies before tax. So we're solving for X, and we're using this equation right here. Okay, now what we need to do, and I'm going to rewrite it over here. I have 210 equals 1.05x. Now, in order to get x by itself, I need to do in the inverse operation. Okay, so I have 1.05 times x. The inverse or opposite operation to multiplication would be division. So I want to divide both sides by 1.05. Okay, and I have to do it to both sides to keep it equal, to keep it balanced. When I divide 1.05 by 1.05, I get 1, so or just 1x. On the left side, 210 divided by 1.05 would give me 200. So that means the total cost without the sales tax was $200. Okay, now part C, does your answer seem reasonable? Yes, and it does seem reasonable because 1% of $200 is $2. So 5% would be $10. Right? Because that's 5 times 2 is 10. So if I add those together, 200 plus $10 is going to equal $210. All right, so let's look at task 4 on page 73. Miriam buys the chair shown. The tax rate is 7.5%. How much was the tax on the chair? Part A, write an equation in the form y equals kx to find the amount y in dollars of the tax on an amount of x dollars. Then find the amount of tax on Miriam's chair. Round to the nearest cent if necessary. So the chair itself, we have the cost here, which is $579. I need to turn my percentage into a decimal so I could plug it into the box, right? So we have 7.5% and I want to convert that by dividing it by 100 which would give me 0 0.075. Okay, now for the X I'm going to substitute the price of the chair which was 579. Now when I multiply this out, I will get 43.425. And I remember I needed to round this to the nearest cent. So this would actually be 43.43 because this five tells us to round up one. So the tax was $43 and 43 cents. 
essentially we just found 7.5 percent of 579 this is something we've been doing all right but this time we're just plugging it into an equation to show you how to set it up and find the percentages that way now part b how do you know your answer is reasonable well I know it's reasonable because using 10%, that's an easy percent to find because essentially all we're doing is dividing by 10, right? We have $579. If I divide by 10, I'm just moving the decimal one spot to the left, which would give me 5790. Okay, so that means 10% of 579 would be $57.90. So 7.5% seems pretty reasonable at $43.43, right? It's close to it, but it's under the 57.90, which 7.5% is under 10. Okay, now there's plenty of ways you could explain this, but 10%. That's, that's an easy number to use. So let's look at part C. Miriam pays a service to deliver the chair to her house. Her bill is $24.75, and she tips the driver 20%. What is the total expense for the delivery? So again, we're using the Y equals KX model. Well, I know it's 20% plus the hundred percent, right? So this X right here is going to represent that hundred percent and I'm going to add 20 percent, but I need to convert it to a decimal by dividing by a hundred, right? So 20 divided by a hundred gives me 0 0.20. Now I'm going to combine these because they are like terms. They both have X. One plus 0 0.20 to zero is going to give me 1.2. I don't need to put that zero at the end. You can if you want, but you don't need it there. Now I'm going to substitute the charge, the $24.75 for X, and then I'm going to just bring down my 1.2. So when I multiply these together, I end up with 29.7 which the total expense would be $29.70 okay now this is just finding 120% of 24.75 all right the only difference is we're just using this model here to set it up and solve it all right, guys, so that is it for Module 2, Lesson 3. Uh, I hope this video was very helpful to you. Um, if it was, click like. If you enjoyed the video, click like. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. That way you are kept up to date with all the new videos being posted. And as always, don't forget to complete and submit your work. Take care.